So what factors actually matter for rowing performance? That was the question I wanted to answer in my undergraduate dissertation because at the time I was a rower and I'm pretty short for a rower so I'm 5'10", 5'11"-ish and I wasn't sure really what mattered for being a rower because there wasn't that much evidence out there. And that's what we're going to go over in the next episode. But this episode, I'm going to talk about the reasons I chose to do this dissertation. And we're going to look at what it is and how it really works. And we're going to go right into it on the website. So this is what you get whenever you go onto the website. So you get this and you can try out the calculator and you go straight to the research. So let's try out the calculator first. So as you can see, 111 participants, 10 variables test it. 82.2% accuracy and don't worry about this. So we can try the, the numbers here. So let's try the numbers that are here. 25, 75 kg, 175 arm span, 18.2 second, 100 meter time, um, 18.20, 5k time. Note that this is the format you do it in because it can be a little confusing and submit. And as you can see, they're 2k erg time in the concept 2 would be about 7 minutes and 5 seconds and in the skull 7 minutes and 51 seconds really roughly. So one of the things I really like to point out because if you are a rower you can click here and this will let you and get submit your own data so I can update this model in the future because I need more participants to make it even better. So this takes you to the form and you can go enter all your all your details in there and nothing that identifies you, you're perfectly fine. So let's look at what the paper was. So the title of it was Anthropometric and Fitness Variables as a Predictor of 2000 Meter Rowing er Ergometer Time. This was my undergraduate dissertation. I thought it was important because in rowing, team selection is usually based on your, your erg numbers, your form, your height and um, your weight obviously especially for lightweight or heavyweight and um, then basic factors but what was the evidence that being taller really made you better at rowing and of course it's very very likely that being taller is better for rowing but that's the kind of stuff i wanted to look at in my article so this is the website you can test it on concept 2 leave your feedback and there we are really simple web page and you can see the full dissertation here but i'm going to go over in the next series of videos to look at all these different things of how it works but yeah so just to go over the 10 things i wanted to look at was height weight arm length inside leg length age sex experience 5k erg time 100 meter erg time and flexibility so i wanted to do this a bit better but i couldn't because of covid i couldn't get people personally face to face because it was a very important time of covid when it was first kicking off so i couldn't do that but what i done instead was that online form asking people a series of questions and and then what I did was multiple use multiple regression to come up with with an equation to figure that out so that's really all it is um but in the next video I'm going to look through what existing literature there was um I'm just trying to go through break down the research so it's easier to understand and it's not going to be complicated it's not going to be difficult I'm breaking it down the whole way through so I hope to see you all in the next video